By choosing sobriety, we end toxic and repetitive behaviors that enabled those around us to continue having opportunities to surround themselves with bad influences. Remember this, somebody else's healing starts with yours first. All right, welcome back to Getting Sober dot 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 again. My name is Jay and today we are going to talk about you never know who you're going to inspire with your sobriety. But first, make sure you're subscribed by hitting the subscribe button down below and make sure your notification bell is set to all so that you get notified when we do our super informative live streams. We host our live streams on Friday night and a Sunday night. This is your chance to come and say hello to me and to all the other helpful members of our community during the live stream chat meet and greet at the beginning of each live stream. You'll also get notified when we do our new episodes every Monday because we all know that the drive home from work on Monday is one of our biggest triggers to drink. Am I right? <laughs> all right, let's get started with today's topic. You never know who you're going to inspire with your sobriety. When we start our journey into sobriety, it becomes a sinfully decadent pastime to dwell on past times. That's when we need to remind ourselves of what our goals are with sobriety. Sometimes we need to look to the past to remind ourselves that the future we seek is impossible unless we plant our seeds for success today. Will Rogers reminded us of this when he said, don't let yesterday take up too much of your today. Les Brown said that no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. Theodore Roosevelt said that, believe you can and you're halfway there. Because quote, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. That one comes from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> you see, we get so absorbed in thinking that we're the only ones struggling with sobriety. As we look around, everyone we see has chosen to be whatever version of themselves that they want us to believe that they are. When we start our journey into sobriety, we aren't simply choosing to refrain from putting a bottle to our lips. We're choosing to be better now than we were previously. We're choosing to have a few more wins on Monday than we did last Monday. We're choosing to allow for and make room for the universe to give us the blessings that it already has set aside for us. Remember the dream car that you wanted, the better health that you can see in your mind's eye, the vacation that you can finally afford to take and actually enjoy, the better relationship that you always wanted to be in, the better quality of friends that you wanted to be surrounded by. Those are the destinations and sobriety is the journey that takes you there. Wow. The past was simply the school of life, of life's tests to see if you're truly ready to receive the gifts you're waiting for, or a test to see if you're still sabotaging your blessings by getting in your own way and showing the universe that it's not time yet. Are you asking the universe for better company while your home is a mess? Are you telling the universe that you're hungry while your plates are left dirty? Are you asking for love while being jealous of those around you who found it? Are you seeing others around you being blessed and saying things like, why not me? In what ways are you standing in the way of your own blessings? Hiding your light is as useless as collecting unpaid compliments. I'm gonna say that again because I didn't hear a single amen. <laughs> Hiding your light is as useless as collecting unpaid compliments. When we hide our light, we limit our ability to attract the blessings we seek. When we hide our light, we limit the ability for others we're looking for to find us. When we hide our light, the path around us remains dim and the others around us will continue to be lost along their own journeys. Think about this. How many times have you read inspirational quotes? A million? Two million? <laughs> How many YouTube videos have you watched telling you, be the change that you wish to see in the world, or success only comes to those who dare attempt it, or don't give the past the power to define your future. And then you clock back in from your lunch break at the job that makes you miserable. You put in a few more hours until it's time to go home and then clock out, get into your car, already planning where you're going to go, habitually driving down the same road that you've always gone down again and again, 
straight to your local bar and drink until you don't care about changing the world. You don't care about the company you keep, your habits, or even changing the dirty clothes that you've been wearing all day. Just to start the next day, a lesser version of yourself, hoping to get back to par just so you can maybe get a little relief once again the next day at five o'clock. Back in the endless cycle of days gone by with growth opportunities missed and no real change other than instead of having a best foot forward, you become closer to having one in the grave. When we choose sobriety, we choose to put that foot down, to stop, reflect, look around and observe the collection of lessons learned and more importantly, goals not yet realized. When we choose sobriety, we choose to live life instead of living through a series of self-imposed consequences due to the lack of meaningful and purposeful life experiences that we thought may never come. When we choose sobriety, we choose to remove the blockages that have kept us from being our best self and choose to end repetitive and toxic behaviors that enabled us to continue limiting ourselves. Limiting ourselves from why we don't have more, why we can't do more, but also by choosing sobriety, we end toxic and repetitive behaviors that enabled those around us to continue having opportunities to surround themselves with bad influences. Are you listening? Remember all the times that you were inspired to have another beer, take another shot, stay and have one more. Remember all the times that you inspired someone to have another beer, take another shot, stay and have one more. Just as easily as you can inspire someone to drink more, you can also inspire someone to live more. You never know who your sobriety will inspire. That's why I make these videos for you. For me, for us, everyone here has a voice. Every one of us here has power. Every one of us has a gift. But maybe someone distracted you with a beer and a shot. Maybe someone distracted you with a toast and eagerly enabled you to live the toxic life that was normalized for them. Normalized by a friend or romantic partner, or for a lot of us, by our family. Be prepared to be proud of yourself when you finally let the cat out of the bag and start telling people that you're sober. You'll have a new opportunity to do what maybe you haven't had the opportunity to do since you were first introduced to peer pressure all those years ago. You'll have the opportunity to practice sticking up for yourself. When you explain your sobriety, be prepared for the what, why? <laughs> from those people who feel abandoned and scared that they'll have to make a change. Be prepared for the, I didn't think that you had a drinking problem. From all those people who you've skillfully and masterfully been hiding your drinking from all these years. And maybe be prepared for a couple of thank gods <laughs> from the people who cared about you that you probably weren't allowing enough space or leverage to be a better friend or family member to you because you were perhaps a little overbearing during your drinking career. I know that the proclamation of sobriety is exciting. You may not know that yet, but on this side of sobriety, life is pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I can honestly say that this period of my life is easily the best that my life has ever been, which, is one of my sobriety goals. I've always wanted to inspire those around me, but I knew that I was in no position to help others when I wasn't doing what I needed to do to help myself. I didn't want people to look at me like a car mechanic taking a bus to work or a doctor with a bad cough because what I want is that when you choose to spend your time here, after you clock out from work, that you'll be full of hope and confidence knowing that you can count on me and this community and eventually yourself so that the people in your life will be able to count on you too. Remember this, somebody else's healing starts with yours first.
By the way, have you given this video a thumbs up yet? <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment for either me or one of the amazing members of our community in the comment section down below. And with that, I wanna wish you good luck on your sobriety journey. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more upcoming videos. And please consider supporting our sobriety mission on Patreon so that you too can get this cool Getting Sober Again mug. Link down below. Remember, we have over 150 episodes and live streams on our channel. So make sure that you watch them all <laughs> if you can. And I will see you in the next video.